Get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 9 to 10 Eastern Standard Time. Also a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go right to the top of the page where it says newsletters. You hit that. You hit the left-hand side. You're going to see the opening call right on the left-hand side. And you can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for six ninety five, which is a savings of $190 or 22%, and one full year for eleven ninety five, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Basil has approximately 12 to 14 archives there, so you'll really understand, number one, what he, what's in the newsletter every day, and number two, which is the most important, of how to ride that Chapman wave. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I'm good, thank you. So this is going to be int I'm introducing I'm back to you a character that you haven't seen for a long time. Oh, good. But, Who is it? But first, well, we'll see if it's good. Oh. <laughs> first of all, it's, first it's of all, not that freaking pelican, is it? Is it? Is... It's that the stork leg. Oh, my God, the stork leg. <laughs> Folks, when Basil first did this, this stork leg killed me a couple of times, man. I, I, I know the whole thing now, though. I'm ready for it at this time. <laughs> You're ready. All right. Well, let's just let's go into it slowly. Uh, I love it. Okay. <laughs> so, first of all, we'll go to the Dow. The Dow has been in a sell signal. Uh, since it made that top at 40,077 on the 20th of May, we went short there. We've got long term, long positions, but a short term trading position. Uh, we're still short that. And you can see that the nine period moving average is the daily chart on the left. The pink nine period moving average, as long as it stays pink, it says just be careful. The, the pressure to the downside side is still uh, being maintained. But if you look at the weekly chart, you can see this U that went to a W formation, soft W formation, is still in place. It hasn't quite accelerated on the right, so we're in a trading range. So I thought I'd say I'd talk about that. Then the other thing I thought I'd mention right here is, so um, Microsoft. Microsoft has a particular pattern. This pattern goes back uh, oh, decades. There's a pattern that I discovered years ago where I suddenly noticed that the price that I was following had made a long, I call it a single leg, even though the little bumps and everything, it's like one continuous move. Then all of a sudden, and it doesn't make a rectangle uh, formation, it makes a very specific oval pattern. And that oval pattern I learned to call a body. And I call the stalk leg formation, and here the pattern is on the left. This is a, the weekly chart of the of Microsoft. Yes. So here's the leg, and then you've got, and it always has to be yeah. if it's a short body, and it's, if it's just a circle, it can actually become a propeller shaft to the upside with a, with a very strong move, so that it looks like a propeller. But right. what we're looking at here, it's a little different. What happens is it makes the body. And then the arch of the body, as soon as the price goes above, especially if it's at a D or it goes to an E, what happens is the price goes above to a new high. It could be an all-time high, but at least for this particular in this time frame, it makes a high. And that's the neck. The neck doesn't have to be very high because, you know, you always see the stalk. The stalk stands on this one leg. Somehow yes. other balances on this leg, tucks the other leg underneath the body, and you just see this long, thin, leg holding up this very long oval body and then you get the thin little neck and then all of a sudden you get the beak. So the beak when it does come down if it uh, goes underneath the arch high it says okay now you're into the beak this can go down quite a bit more this is what you have to monitor closely if it goes underneath the body of the beak in this case uh, that would be at about 388 that's a problem. So this is where we are we've gotten the leg, this is the leg. We've been long since about from here, yeah, 338. So you've got this long body. It makes the oval a very distinct oval. It, it isn't a rectangle. It does make that curve to make the you know, like a football. Yes. And now and now what's happened is it's just breaking above the resistance level. So right. my suspicion is I'm waiting because for us, the uh, Microsoft has represented a position, a longer term position in the Dow, the S&P, the QQQ, and the XLK, which is the S&P tech sector. So it has all those components in one, in one stock, Microsoft. And I, when it goes above this, that's what we're going to monitor. And that could happen any day. 
Yeah, I'm looking at the weekly chart, but it really comes from the daily. 433.60 was the high on the 23rd. Today's high is 431.78. It's just an eye blink away from getting there. It could happen. Just one quick pop to the upside. And then we've got to monitor if that uh, beak, this is the beak right here. This is what I'm pointing to right here. How that comes into play. And the, uh, the whole irony of this uh, pattern is you have to have all this patience to be able to follow the whole thing. When the beak is complete, and you don't really know when the beak is complete because it suddenly reverses and has a very strong move, and then you're on your own. So what is it? It's the long leg. It's the oval pattern. It's the break to the upside for the neck, and then the beak that comes down. And uh, so that's kind of what I'm wondering. Why do I mention this? Because it kind of corresponds to the SMHs, all-time high. Uh, let me just... Show you right here, the SMH is the semiconductor index. And, you know, I like to always consider where the SM SMIs go. Generally, the market goes either up or down, kind of leads the way. Hasn't made a new high today, but it's getting close. Um, so I'm watching this so far. The technicals are still pretty good. So how it, how it comes about, the QQQ did make a new high, made a new high. Let me just get to that right there. Today, it ran up to uh, 467.76. So I'm anticipating through our positions, we've lightened up on all our long positions. We've built up a cash position. We have, we've got the short on the Dow. We've started a short on another, another one of the indices. And what I'm looking at is what happens, what happens by Friday? So the pattern that I'm looking at is if we are going to get something that really pertains to not just a one, you know, we have, we've had a number of 500 points or even 600 points sell-offs in one day over a period of four months, five months, but there's nothing sustained. It doesn't go on for the next day down another 500. That's a bear phase. A bear phase is when the S&P day after day, at least two, three days in a row, has 48 to 55 points to the downside, tries to rally, closes at the low of the day. Overnight, it has a washout, tries to rally again, and then does the same. We haven't had that. So you really need to see the semiconductors pull back at least about 12 points. The, the QQQ trading at 466 really needs to get to the 458 level. So those are the things that I'm looking at for a consistent move. But the other thing that is really important, look how the bonds have been. The bonds have been uh, pulling back quite sharply, but they haven't broken down. So and I think that we will need that the yields go quite a bit higher from here for us to get this kind of selling pressure. So there are a number of factors that would I have to see come together for a sustained move. But one of the things is going to be intriguing for me is how does this Microsoft stock leg formation conclude? Because when it does pull back, it could be a very sudden pull back into the body of the uh, body of trading. And listen, folks, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. Newsletters. Left-hand side, you're gonna see the opening call. You hit that button, you're gonna be very happy you did. Basil, you have a great one, a safe one. Of course, we look forward to the show tomorrow morning. Thank you, Tom, you too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks, we'll come right back.